Well, hello there. I'm sure you all missed me. So the other day I was sitting with my intern, and we thought maybe I should make a video where I'm a little bit more personable about my own experiences. So what's something that I've had to overcome in my own high value journey? It wasn't gaining a sense of fashion or problems approaching women. Something much more tangible. Well, if you can read, then you already know what this video is about, so there's no need for me to be mysterious about it. It's going bald and how I coped with it. So for all of you with your healthy hairlines and your vibrant locks, you might want to keep watching because God forbid some trash genetics catch up with you. Or go ahead and send this video to that one friend who might just need to let it go. I bet you all thought I was going to roast my intern, right? No. I'm going to let Tori Lanez's long lost twin realize he needs to get the chop soon too. Uh-huh. It's like a little path and a patch of grass. So let's get into it. Being bald is something you just gotta jump into. Don't ease into it. It kinda just sneaks up on you if you don't pay attention. When it comes to the topic of hair, many lifestyle and fashion channels offer videos on what hairstyle you should get, or products to get for your hair, or how to prevent male pattern baldness. It must be so triggering for a lot of you. To see all these other fashion YouTubers out here with their luscious locks, it's not that they're not good channels with great content. It's just that for a lot of you, your genetics are stronger than the products that you're gonna use to fight. And here's something that I feel like no one wants to admit. Some people People just can't afford these products or treatments. It's not like you just drop that oil in your scalp or take that pill one time and just like that your hairline is back. No, you have to keep using it. So I bet you're all wondering. Well when did you go bald AJ? <laughs> Been wanting to know that one, huh? I went bald during a very low value time in my life. I started noticing it around 21, 22. I was young as hell, ain't it? Shout out to anyone who had to experience that at 18. God. I was living overseas, partying and simping. Yeah, you heard that last part, right? We all have to go through our awakening at some point. At that time, I was just as particular about my image as I am now. Growing up, I was always very particular about how I got my hair cut. I'd always get the part on the side, wear my do-rag at night to keep those waves nice. And it was around 21 that I noticed my hairline was getting weak around the sides. Yo, boy was devastated. At this point in my life, I was convinced that if I went bald, I would be so unattractive and no girl would want me. Like I said, my mindset was very low value. I wasn't in a good relationship either and the woman who I was with wasn't helping with me coping with going bald. So eventually I made the decision to just shave it all off. I always said that I'll be damned if I look like someone who's just forever trying to hold on. But even when I did shave it off, that didn't help with my confidence. I would wear hats all the time. I mean all the time. It was so serious that even when I got out of the shower, I would put a hat on even before I put my underwear on. It was as if the people in my life didn't know that I was bald and that the people who I would meet knew me when I had hair. God, that was pathetic. I'll say it again, low value. The other reasons as to why I was low value, I might tie into future videos but one topic at a time. The funny thing is that the women who I would meet still found me attractive, but it didn't help because my confidence was still very low and I was insecure about it, so it showed. Now fast forward a good two years after I made the chop, and I said, have you seen or met yourself? I stopped wearing hats all the time and began to just start confidently rocking this thing. Gents, confidence is infectious. And the way that you highlight or hide something is how people will perceive it about you. If you're self-conscious about going bald, then you can do one of two things. Get your money together so that you can finance a come from behind win for your hairline. Or you can just shave off whatever is left and own it. Or out your facial hair, if you can. Get some fashionable eyewear. Let you dig your girl out after you've got a nice freshly shaven dome piece. Just be rubbing all over that thing. Take that how you want it. Now if you commit to going bald, don't be going out here rocking three day old hair follicles growing out of your scalp. Like I said in my beard video, find a routine that works for you. I shave my head three times a week when I do my beard. It works for me and I haven't been to a barber shop in years. Going bald might be one of the challenges that many men face physically, but don't make it a death sentence for yourself. If it's something you're experiencing now, then and consider it a part of your self-improving journey. But you don't have to take my word for it, but okay? I'm you guys' lifestyle crew. Better, una mujer hermosa, me esta llamando puppy. But just so you know, G, you're worth more than your hair, so act like it. I'm gonna link the products that I use for shaving my own head in the description below, because I keep this thing smooth and forever on my zaddy vibes. And with that, damas y caballeros. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't be rude. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, so you can stay up to date on the high value grind from everything from fashion, fitness, dating, and lifestyle advice. Hit me up on Instagram to set up your own image and lifestyle consultation. And head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud and Anchor to check out my show, Can't Make This Up. Listen to me and my homegirl Mama Beans talk about any and everything from dating to current events. Don't play yourself. Go on out there. Be great. Be high value. Until the next time. Peace. Oh, so y'all still ain't subscribed? Y'all rude as hell.